With a round of applause, who here owns a cell phone? So obviously that's like everyone. Now who here would say that this cell phone has put them in awkward situations before? Par exemple, rentrer dans un poteau dans la rue parce qu'on était trop concentré par l'écran devant nous. Ou peut-être accrocher quelqu'un avec notre panier d'épicerie parce qu'on devait voir le nouveau post Instagram. Ou même peut-être se réveiller en plein milieu de la nuit pour aller chercher son téléphone qui vient de sonner. Or, maybe this is more relatable. Who has ever escaped an awkward situation with the help of their cell phones? Like when you look down to your screen so you don't have to make eye contact with that lady from work you meet at the grocery store but you don't really want to talk to, but it's kind of awkward. <laughs> I think it's crazy what people are willing to do for their cell phones. Quand il neige dehors, on serait jamais prêt à mettre nos bottes d'hiver et notre manteau d'hiver juste pour aller chercher notre portefeuille dans l'auto. Mais pourtant, on serait prêt à le faire si notre téléphone est en train de se geler dans notre auto. See, not many people are aware of this, but it's possible for us to be addicted to technology. This is due to the visual stimulation provided by our cell phones that is known as a dopamine trigger, a substance released in our bodies that produces what we know as pleasure. This same substance is also released when we eat, drink alcohol, or take drugs. Therefore, it is physically possible for us to be addicted to technological stimulation. Not only are we most probably all addicted, but we also go through withdrawal symptoms when we are not looking at our screens. When we're away from our phones, most of us will say we feel lonely, depressed, anxious, or upset. These emotions can be associated with the lack of dopamine in our bodies. All right, let's move on. With another round of applause, who here uses their cell phones to scroll, scroll through Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or YouTube? Now, who here has ever witnessed insults or arguments based on cultural, racial, social, or political differences on these platforms. <laughs> this will come as no surprise to you, but this type of online behavior is known as cyberbullying, and over 70% of Quebec teens will report exposure to it. We are constantly exposed to these social misconducts, yet we are never excessively bothered by them, because that's the social norm, right? Isn't it easier to simply repost, retweet, or react instead of refusing, rejecting, and regretting? Additionally, when we are constantly exposed to these negative and judgmental behaviors, we are obviously prone to multiple emotional instabilities, such as depression or anxiety disorders, even though most people affected will never admit to or know about them. I don't think anyone here needs to be convinced that there are many advantages to, to technology. But we have reached a point where the disadvantages have become more apparent and more important in our everyday lives. Technology is constantly disturbing us. It plays a large role in our ability to concentrate, in our motivation to participate in non-technological activities, and in the end, I think it's fair to say that technology is slowly isolating us from the rest of the world. All this to say that we need to change our technological habits. This is why today I am presenting No Phone Tuesday. Cette activité hebdomadaire qui consiste à ignorer son téléphone une journée complète une fois par semaine a pour but de nous détacher d'un objet qui est devenu essentiel à nos vies de tous les jours et de nous remettre avec des, des habitudes technologiques saines. Before anyone starts criticizing this initiative, I would like to point out that it's on a completely voluntary basis. Our education, mental health, and physical form are regularly affected by technology, which is why I'm asking you to put the phone away once a week because it has taken up too much time and too much importance in our lives already. Now, will you participate? Thank you. Yeah.